Soon, there will be no ice at the North Pole. I'm Charlie, a climate scientist, and I'm going to explain why that is a big deal. This graph shows volume of sea ice throughout the year since the 1980s, with each line representing a singular year. A couple of interesting parts to notice with this plot is the maximum amount of sea ice is in April, after the winter months, and the minimum amount of sea ice is in September, just after the summer months when the Arctic is exposed to sunlight all day every day. As we can see here at the bottom, we are getting very close to the Arctic being completely ice free. To begin with, we will see this for just one day during September, but it might not be long until we have no sea ice in the Arctic for the whole summer. This will have huge consequences on our climate. Sea ice acts as a mirror and is an excellent reflector of sunlight. Without it, the planet will be absorbing even more heat from the sun. And on top of this, there will be permanent effects such as changes in the ocean currents and a rise in sea levels. Follow me for more information about our climate and how humans are altering it.